Hello everybody, my name is Lewis, and today's video is about the Lewis LCT441 Flex. This is a condenser microphone that has the ability to switch between polar patterns, and today I'm going to review it. Let's just jump right into it and get into the features. The biggest and most important one is obviously the ability to switch between polar patterns. The website lists eight, but in actuality, it's only five with the ability to switch the reverse of each polar pattern, except for omni and bidirectional since you can't really reverse that. So I'm gonna go list them all off now. You have omnidirectional, wide cardioid, cardioid, super cardioid, figure eight, or some people call it bidirectional, reverse cardioid, reverse wide cardioid, and then reverse super cardioid. Those are all of your polar patterns. Um, it's a pretty good feature to have, but if you're sitting in a stationary environment like me, I'm not moving anywhere exactly. I'm kind of like glued to the chair. I would definitely not recommend buying this microphone because there's not really a point to switching between polar patterns because I only need cardioid. What am I going to do with omnidirectional? Pick up my PC fan noise? That's a real great idea there. But if you're sitting in a studio environment, it could be very useful to have mul if you have multiple people around the microphone. But if you're sitting in a stationary with one person, there is quite literally no point to having this microphone. You could get the 440, which is going to sound the exact same. The only difference between it is that it lacks the really cool screen that I'll get into a little bit later. And it doesn't have the ability to switch between polar patterns. Let's move on to the next feature, which is going to be that screen that I talked about literally five seconds ago. This screen is the coolest thing on the planet. Let me explain. So, when I first opened this microphone, I was like, how is this screen gonna work? Do they wanna have me like plug some extra power in? Do I need a USB? Do I need like a battery, double A's? No, it works completely off of the 48 volts supplied by your audio interface, my brain, Stop for a second there. Do you realize how cool that is? That is so cool. I'm probably going to cut this off and put this at the end of the video because I'm going to be rambling on for a very long time about how cool that is. Think about it. That means that it's sharing the power between the microphone to power the microphone because condenser microphones require 48 volts to function and powering the screen using only 48 volts from your audio interface. That is so cool. And then, think about this. It has features too. If you hold down the right button, you can do a random select mode, which will randomly select an, um, a polar pattern for you. That is amazing. That's so cool. Why did they add that? No idea. But it's cool. It's fun. And if you hold the right or left button for I believe it is three seconds, you can turn off the Lewitt logo in the middle. Hello, Editing Lewis here. Holding down either buttons for three seconds doesn't just turn off the Lewitt logo in the middle, but it actually locks your polar pattern in place so that you can't change it accidentally. This screen is like the coolest thing on the planet and it has its own startup. It's like, a, it's like a, it doesn't have any noises. It'd be perfect if it had noises. I'm gonna put some sound effects on there. I'm gonna make it sound, I'm gonna make it sound like it has a speaker in there. You put a speaker in this, beautiful. It has its own startup and something that completely amazed me, when it shuts down, it actually fades away, which makes no sense. If you turn off the 48 volt fans of power or even just unplug the microphone, it will fade to, it will fade away the lights. That means they put a battery in there for that specific purpose to hold just enough charge to power down the screen or decrease the brightness slowly. That is so cool. Like, they, they did not have to do any of that, but it just makes it feel so much better, like a way cooler product. And that just got me excited to review this thing because I was like, it can do all that? I just thought it was a screen that displayed and you know, when you cut the power, it would just, you know, shut off. No, 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 they made it look cool. You're paying 
for some really cool stuff here. And that doesn't matter. Oh, sure. It has a, it decreases the brightness. It just, it fades away. Ooh. But like, that is just so cool. The, the work that needed to be done to do that is just. The final thing about this, it has memory. You can turn the microphone off, unplug it, travel the world, come back, plug it in, and it will have whatever last polar pattern you used pre-selected for you. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'm well, here's what I'm giving. Applause. That means that they had to put a memory chip in there. I'm not sure what type of memory they have, whether it's going to be like long-term storage or something like a CMOS battery. But either way, that is so cool. Like, like you're telling me they put all of that in this tiny microphone, which is the exact same size as this one, but it has way cooler features. Like that, 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 that that's so cool. That's amazing. All right, I'm gonna stop rambling on about how cool this microphone is, but it is really, all of the work that had to go in to do this, I want you to know, Lewis, someone out there is appreciating in it, and that someone is me. It's me. I'm right here. I'm raising my hand from the class, I don't, I don't know. But that's, okay, just stop saying but, stop saying but, and keep reviewing the microphone like you were supposed to. It's been 10 minutes and all you've done is ramble on about this dumb screen. It's not dumb, it's very cool. Good job, Lua, I really love it. Now that we've gone through all the features and you've decided whether or not you want the microphone, let's get into what you'll receive when you order this thing. So you'll get this foam windscreen, which has a Lua logo on it, but let's be honest, no one wants to use this lame foam windscreen. It, it, it just ruins the look of the microphone. Like, look at this thing. You don't want to obstruct the beauty of this microphone. Every Lewitt microphone looks amazing. And you can't, you can't, you can't deny that. You also get this other less lame mesh windscreen, which I don't think works nearly as well, but we'll find out in the test portion of this video later on. Um, I think it looks better, but still, without a windscreen, it just looks so much better. You can't deny it. You also get a leather bag, which is also pretty dope. It's standard pretty much across every single Lewitt microphone. I believe with the LCT240, you may only get it if you purchase the value pack edition, though. I'll put a note up here if I'm wrong. And um, pretty cool. It's got a furry inside and Lewitt branding. Cool for traveling if you're into that. You also get boring quick start guide. No one cares. And you obviously get the shock mount and the microphone itself in the box. Oh, ooh, never mind. I forgot. This. You get yourself a little wristband. This is exclusive to the more expensive microphones, I guess. They don't include it in any of their diagrams of what's in the box, but maybe it's only this microphone. Maybe it's the exclusive 1,000th customer thing. But um, with this microphone, you get yourself a cool little wristband that says make yourself heard. I'm gonna go put it on now. I'm not sure which microphones you get it with because they didn't list it in the 440, they didn't list it in the 441, they didn't list it in any of their microphones. So maybe I got lucky, who knows? Let me know if you got one. And also let me know what you think of the microphone so far. I think it's dope. Now it's time to test. Now you've already gotten familiar with how the microphone sounds because I've been using it throughout this entire video. But how well does it do whenever you're actually putting in some work to it? So let's start with pluses as that's pretty much the only test we can do because you've gotten a pretty good scene for vocals on this. Peter Piper picked a pickled pepper. Peter Piper picked a pickled pepper. Peter Piper picked a pickled pepper. And now we're gonna put on the foam windscreen. Peter Piper picked a pickled pepper. Peter Piper picked a pickled pepper. Peter Piper picked a pickled pepper. And then we can go ahead and put on the metal or mesh windscreen. Peter Piper picked a pickled pepper. Peter Piper picked a pickled pepper. Peter Piper picked a pickled pepper. Now I know the microphone's through YouTube compression, blah, blah, blah. But really, what, what do you want me to do here? That's pretty much the best I can give you. And more than likely, you're going to be using this thing on some sort of broadcasting service. If not, you're going to be using it for professional audio, which will then be going through a broadcasting service. So 
putting it through YouTube compression is probably going to be a pretty accurate representation of what it's going to sound like either way. Before we close out the video, I have one last segment and that's gonna be my verdict. What is my opinion on this microphone? And this might be a bit controversial. I think this is the best microphone ever in every category besides price. This is the best microphone ever. Me personally, I'm a condenser microphone person. I like the way those sound. So sound is subjective here. If you don't like condenser microphones, you don't like this microphone. But me personally, I like the sound of them and I think they sound so good. This is an extremely good microphone. Now I'm saying the best to get some like, you know, clickbait views type of thing. I mean, I haven't heard of every microphone yet. There might be a microphone that feeds you chicken and then while doing it sounds like it's from the 31st century. But like, I this is a really good microphone. It has a bunch of quality of life features. It has some like actual soul to it with some nice, cool features. And a lot of work went into it. So I want to say this is the best microphone ever. Purely because of how versatile it is. Like I said, multiple polar patterns. It sounds good doing it. Looks good doing it, in opinion. And then, I don't know what else you could really ever need for a microphone. I think this beats the Shure SN7B. A lot of microphones do. It's kind of labeled as the best. It's not really, but this is my favorite. I think, in my opinion, this is my favorite microphone ever, and I think it might just be in the top 10. In the top 10 of all microphones ever, this might just be in there. Now, sure, you have Newman's that cost $12,000 and, and all those other mumbo-jumbo mics. But I think this does a really good job. So, uh, applause, Lewitt. Um, that's all I really have to say. It's just a good microphone. So, uh, I, guess, I guess it's time to close out the video then. Those are my final thoughts. It has a lot of soul to it. There's a lot of work that went into this, and like, I, I don't know what to say. It's just good. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. I wanted to thank you guys for 50 subscribers on the channel, because I haven't, and I wanted to thank you, because it means a lot to me. And uh, this has been Lewis, and I'm out. Peace.